Hello crafting friends, welcome to my podcast. My name is Barbara Radzivikas and this is Bondi Crafter. Recently, you might have noticed I've gone down the rabbit hole with orchids. Indoor orchids, those little tiny ones. I so love them and yeah, <laughs> what can I say? But I think as a collector, I only go to a certain point when I know that I can't go any further and I think I might be nearly there with the orchids. I have to look after them and make sure that they all are, they all love it where they are <laughs> and there's only so much space. So I have enjoyed making a few podcasts, three recently, short videos um, on my acquisitions, but you know, they were orchids. <laughs> so yeah. It's fun. Um, welcome, welcome to my lounge room. It's uh, nearly the last day of winter here. It's the 30th of August and it's the 13th of Elul, so it's my birthday week. My birthday is on Father's Day this year, 3rd of September. Wow, it only comes around like every, I don't know. 20 years it seems like but my my sister who I love so much her birthday was on is on the 6th of September and she was born on Father's Day I was seven years old and it was such a wonderful gift I mean I was hoping it would be on my birthday but it was a bit later and it was Father's Day so happy birthday Meg <laughs> love you so much and yeah, so it's the last day of winter. It's a blue moon because there's two full moons in August this year. And they're really big because the moon is on a close orbit to the Earth. Really interested in the planets. John's got this app for his phone now and it um, tells you all the constellations and where the stars and planets are just by pointing your phone up there and you can see what planets are there and it's so interesting and yeah Aquarius is apparently very close at the moment uh, I'd say it was Aquarius rising and uh, I think Aquarius rising was in my star chart when I had it done oh when I was born <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> a very exciting week for me I'll be 71 I can't believe it you know Where'd that time go? <laughs> anyway, that's it. So I have been pretty busy. I've been, as I said, orchid hunting. <laughs> and I have bought a few patterns. I haven't bought that much yarn. I, in the last month, I don't think I've bought any. I could be wrong. But I have been knitting and I'm going to do some sewing too. So I'll show you what I'm doing. I have two works in progress. I've got another two, but they're over there. <laughs> and I've been working on these two recently. So this is what we'll see. I really love this. It's loosely based on um, Tailwind by Cara, Clara Falk. Um, it's a very easy pattern. You just increase on one side and on the I chord side. No, you decrease two on the I chord side and you increase on the other side, which makes a nice little edge like that. I really like it. And the I chord is neat, as we all know. <laughs> and I'm just using colors that, well, yarns that I've got to use. This beautiful one was a gift from Heidi in Canada. It is so beautiful. I love the colours. It's gold and greens, all different greens. It's so beautiful and I want to use it in something special and that shawl or scarf is always special. Um, this one, so I did use a few of my Holst Gown Super Soft because I've got a few little balls of that. I bought them when they're on sale. And so I think this one is called, don't quote me, but I think it's Seagrass or Sage. Sage it is, Sage. 
and then I really love stripes so this pattern had stripes and I thought oh I'll loosely base it on that so I like these colors so green and white then white the white is um, a cone from my owner it's beautiful and soft these are four plies another of the lovely yarn from Heidi um, striped with this white so you're supposed to go from a plain color a block color gradually going to the stripes of the previous color and the next color you're going to use and my next color is this beautiful one by itself I love this section it's green a dark green so it was a sock yarn um, with the white and then another of this one and now I've gone into a really dark green which has a nearly is very dark green but I really like the overall color that it's making and I I really like this section too and this part reminds me of a ticking you remember the tickings on mattresses that used to have stripes I loved them that's <laughs> should I say that I love it I think it's going to be beautiful so this is one of my favorite favorite colorways I've got to say this is what I'm using at the moment so this beautiful sock and this very dark green which has other colors in it too it gets blown out and I hold it too close but yeah I really love this sock too isn't that lovely so that is my stripy shawl that I'm using special colors with my next one is a Stephen West I've got to say I can't I can't knit the really complicated Stephen West but this is botanical shawl I really love how the um, how the one stitch makes the whole pattern but as you see <laughs> I got lost somewhere I always do this you know I can't make the pattern or a recipe exactly how it says so I was sailing along and then I missed <laughs> I missed um, a garter row. Further along, I missed half a garter row. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, I should make a feature out of this. So I missed another one. But overall, you can't really tell. And, you know, it's a pattern. A pattern is a pattern. I really love this. Um, I didn't think I could knit this pattern. You know and simple as anything I really didn't think I could get that um, that one stripe in it but I did um, I was doing an Andrew Maori cow and I got it after about seven goes but you know <laughs> still got it and the yarn in this is a hedgehog fibers matchstick oh it is so gorgeous Similar to the um, yarn, yarn color, uh, colors in the yarn Heidi sent me, but matchstick is so beautiful. So I bought I bought it in a mini skein. Uh, I think I bought ten mini skeins of Hedgehog, and then some of them I really like so much, and I really love matchstick. So I bought a skein of it to make this, and I'm only using the matchstick. Uh, the matchstick uh, yarn and a white so the white Iona cone it's getting used I want to use it up and this is how far I've gotten so far so it's coming along really love it really thankful that I picked the pattern up that I could knit yeah so I'm hoping for two long scarves they should be 
beautiful and soft and scrunchy. So yeah, this is why we all love yarns, folks, and knitting. It's so tactile and creative and everything beautiful. They are my works in progress, and I keep it in an Ikea stackable bag. I did buy patterns. And one is a sewing pattern, or to actually two are. I haven't done fire, um, foundation paper piecing for ages. And then I found um, a Tilda's um, pattern that was free. I found two actually. And I gave one to my friend, uh, Cherry, for her birthday. And I also gave one to my other friend, Kathy, who loves cats. So I hope they enjoy making them too. And this is, uh, it's called Windy Days. It's a free pattern. It's on Tilda's website. And it is beautiful. Use Tilda fabrics. I'm using um, uh, scrap fabrics. But, uh, and I also blew the pattern up rather big. So I, will ha I won't have this many girls in mine. But it is such a beautiful pattern, and I recommend it to anyone who loves foundation paper piecing. That was the girls, and this is the cats. And they're free patterns, and they're just lovely. So I'm hoping to do a foundation paper piece um, quilt soon. I'll keep you updated on that because it's such an exciting project. And then I bought my other sewing I had to purchase this one and it's called sewing workshop and it's a picasso top and pants i saw it on i saw it on a podcast and i really like the pants they're sort of like pg pants and they're called um lantern pants because they come in at the bottom and like a triangular shape and i'm looking forward to making the top so that is my sewing project. This was a purchase pattern. And then John blew it up at Officeworks on the really long paper. So it looks like, you know, the professional paper patterns that you buy. I did buy two other pat knitting patterns from Ravelry. One, I was inspired by Anne of Spa Knits. Oh, no, not Spa Knits. Of no excuses podcast thank you Anne <laughs> I love I love your show and really love your um, patterns that you choose and so I went down that way too I may or may not knit this but it's just lovely looking at the pattern I think Anne's going to put beads in hers it's called follow the fairy sure a lovely a lovely pattern knitable for me by Emma Vining it's a lovely pattern and the other one was Alpine Blue Hat by Caitlin Hunter I love Caitlin Hunter's patterns I think they're beautiful Everyone seems to be knitting this at the moment and there is a cowl going on. I'm not doing the cowl, but I am making the hat. And I really like doing stranded um, colour work, so that should be fun. That is the tooth. That's my whips, really. Don't have anything finished. I have some repairs I've got to do. I've got to rehem my skirt, my favourite skirt of all time, this one. It's made from scuba. I think I got it from fabric.com. Must be about eight years ago. It is beautiful. It's uh, It's got trees on it and it's grey and white, but the hem has come down. It's knitted fabric. I love it. It's so comfortable, this skirt. So I make most of my own skirts, just elastic at the top and a pencil shape. I've drafted my own pattern over the years, changed a bit, but not much. 
So yeah, I have to re-hem that. And then I have to do, I have to sew the pocket seam on a pair of my son's pants. So I should get the sewing machine out. Maybe not today though. Procrastination. <laughs> no, I will do it. I'm going to do it this week. So yeah. Let's see what else I've got to do. <laughs> Fabrics. Fabrics are my, I think they're on, they're on equal par, if not a bit more than yarn. I love fabrics. I love making things with fabrics. I love making quilts with fabrics. I love making clothes with fabrics, cotton fabrics and linen. I love linen too. I've also, oh, that is a purchase I've made. I haven't received it yet, but it's, um, uh, linen, a new linen from Tasuti. Uh, it's a company in Sydney here, Australia, and it's beautiful. It's white and it's got black faces, uh, black outline faces all over it, and it's rather a big print, so it is beautiful. Can't wait to get that. I bought two meters of it, but it's in the uh, mail somewhere. But my my dear friend Judith has given me every time she goes to the to a quilt shop. She also gets me a piece too, or two, and I really love it. And she also gives me off cuts, you know, from her quilts that I can use. This one is particularly gorgeous. I loved it, and I still love it. It's about two and a half inches wide, which is a perfect width for making binding or putting in a quilt, I'm thinking. I have a lot of these pieces. I also collect salvages. I have got a big bag of salvages and I've made a quilt from salvages. But getting back to the recent um, fabric that Judith got me, it's called the Ghastly. I love Ghastly's friends. Love them. Love them. They are my people. And we see us, well, I see myself in most of them. Look at it. It's just beautiful. There's a village in this one. Steam train aeroplanes, me, John, <laughs> I know, I love this fabric, I've got a few, I've got a few of the fabric, this fabric line now, I just love them, I'm waiting for the new one to come out because it's, she's quite, she's knitting, <sighs> how good can you get, she's knitting, I'm so excited. I do get excited about fabrics. Look at it. It's got big flowers. There I am. Look, this one's me. And there's Kitty Levine chasing me. I'm going on a trip. Uh, yeah, I love it. Thank you so much, Judith. And these are three fabrics that I've been looking at from my previous excursion to Botany. There's a place um, that sells fabrics here. That not only do they sell crafting uh, quilt fabrics, they also sell dress fabrics of all beautiful kinds. And these are the fabrics that I got there when I was there last time. And I'm wanting to make some clothes. Oh, my God. I want to make a skirt, I think. But... When I came to look at it as a skirt, as beautiful as it is, and it has gold in it, it is just lovely. But I'm thinking I'm going to make a quilt out of this one and this beautiful one together. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's called the Colour Win, Colour Wheel by Robert Kaufman. Robert Kaufman is the best. Isn't that lovely? I don't wear these red and orange colours because they just, I think they're too bright for me. I'd look like a little garden if I made this into a dress. You know, I make the Fen dress. I've made quite a few of them. 
and I look at it and I think, yes, I'd love it as a dress, but no, I'm going to make it into a quilt to go with this one. I think these two together, and I'm thinking of a pattern and maybe a disappearing nine patch or a log cabin, I'm not sure. So half would be this light and half would be this colour. I think they go beautifully together. Mm. This is a Benetex, by the way. Uh, Benetex is a New Zealand company. I bought the end of the roll of this one that they had at the at Botany, at the Craft Depot. It's called Craft Depot. And this one, I bought a metre of it when I was there, and I loved it so much. Does this happen to anyone? I sent John back to get two more metres. And when you spend so much there, it's like... Um, uh, oh, words escape me. You know when they give you coupons? <laughs> anyway, I had a $20 one. Every time you spend, I think it's $200, you get 20% off. You get a $20 voucher. And so I sent him back and he bought me two more metres of it. Perfect for a quilt. And then I was looking and I... This didn't come from the same place, but I've had it a fair while, and isn't it beautiful? And I'm thinking, I want to make some, yeah, I'm thinking I want to make a project bag. There's enough for it. I'm thinking Judith gave it to me. It's lovely. <clears throat> I think there's half a metre here. It has that Japanese linen feel, you know, and it is made in Japan. By key fabrics um, most of the name is cut off but it looks Spanish <sighs> Vacanza de Vacanza not sure what that means but it is beautiful the colors are beautiful it has that mid-century modern vibe grays blacks off-white and that yellowy orange mustard color so yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to make a project bag from this. There is quite enough. And I'm thinking I might make a project bag. And you know one of those uh, little clip bags that you have for DPNs or your socks that you just clip the needles into and stops it, stops the um, stitches falling off and getting knotted. So yes, that is my other passion in life, fabrics. Let me know what you're thinking and let me know if you've considered making anything for yourself. It's coming up to summer, so I'm thinking summer and I want to make, I've got 19 of these black tops, can you believe? You probably think you see me in one top that I own, but no. I own 19 of them. 19 black tops, t-shirts. They are perfect. <laughs> They came from New Zealand. It's um, a knitted fabric, cotton. And what happened was, before COVID, I'd say a couple of years before COVID, I saw them. I loved them. I love three-quarter sleeves. Covers my elbows. I still have some unpacked. But I ordered four because you got one free at the time, I think, and it was 20% off. So I ordered four. Then I went to David Jones, which is a big department store. It was in Sydney, in the centre. And they also had the same deal. So I bought another four because I love them so much and they're so me. Then I saw the ma a mail order came and I ordered another four. And something happened, but I kept getting packets of fours. I must have ordered them, but I don't remember doing that. <laughs> and so I ended up with um, 21. 21 black t-shirts all the same and I'm not sending them back didn't want to send them back and I paid for them and they're so reasonably priced and such a perfect color they go with everything that I wear and yeah I black t-shirts so yes I do have more than one if you see me in black t-shirts 
anyone else do this? I also do it with um, sewing patterns like the Fen dress. I find a pattern that I really love that fits me and I make multiples of the same pattern. I just love it. Also with knitting. I have made the same knitting pattern a few times, especially that vest, you know, the um, vintage vest that I made all in garter stitch and thick wool. <laughs> I repeat myself. So, yeah. Such a good day today. I've been waffling quite a bit. I'm happy. Hope you are all happy too. Hope you're having fun with your craft. Having fun knitting or sewing or out and about. It's a good week for me. Well, all days are good really, except when I'm not feeling well. <laughs> and today I'm feeling good. So yes. So. Hope everything is well for you, friends. See, it's my birthday this week, twice. Um, I'm wishing... I can give birthday um, blessings because when it's your birthday, you can give gifts that are not um, physical gifts, but spiritual gifts and they are blessings. And so I'm giving you all blessings for good health and happiness and I hope everything is okay. I'm hoping everybody will stop fighting actually just stop it <laughs> stop being jealous stop poking each other stop doing it men stop doing that and some women yeah and just be happy so sitting here in my lounge room crafting i need to get out but you know i like crafting too That is my 21st, uh, 21st episode. That is my 71st, 71st episode, friends. Wishing everyone big hugs. Big hugs. Bye, friends. Me signing off for this episode. <laughs>